let's, let's, let's take it down a notch and talk about something less controversial. We're talking about global warming. All right. I see, I see people girding up on each side. We got we got two jumping audience quickly. We got we got ten. Now, hold on, hold on. We're, not, we're not starting more yet. Global warming, I think, is interesting. I think obviously we got to talk about is the Earth warming. We got to talk about whether or not it's man-made. We got to talk about if it's warming and it's man-made, is it destructive to the Earth? But those are just suggested talking points. This this time, let's begin with the Occupy movement. Go. All right, so the last time that the Earth warmed anywhere close to the amount that it is already warming at the rate that it is, it warmed no more than 90 degrees Celsius. And it took over 1,000 years to warm from a natural process because we do have greenhouse gases that allow us to have life on Earth and an increase in carbon because of volcanic disruptions in the Paleo-Eocene era. Right now, the latest MIT study that takes into account the volcanic ash and all this other stuff has found that the models are very conservative from the last G, uh, basically from the last global conference of all the scientists. And we can now see that we will have 11 degrees Celsius of, of, of the temperatures on Earth and not 1,000 years and not 500 years, and not 100 years, but 90 years. The last time we had a warming event like this, it was a mass extinction event. It was one of the six. This is right now the sixth mass extinction event. The DNA that our family shares right now, our heritage, is being genocided every day by the level of our consumption and individualism and not taking into account that we are a global family and we have to make it out of this. One in four American children can't eat right now because of our food system, which is destroying our environment. And we gotta think smart. It takes, right now, one and a half planets to run this so-called functioning economy, right? That doesn't work. We live in the 21st century, and individuals like yourselves who grew up in a very uh, prosperous time in our nation's history need to teach us how to think about this in a linear fashion where we care about it to such a degree can I, can that, I say yeah. something? Sure, sure, sure. You said something that is very interesting. You said we live in the 21st century, but all the global warming policies want to bring us back to the 1600s with windmills and, and, and water flowing up. So, so it, it, global warming basically consists of three, there's three basic things that go involved in global warming that make it the, the irrational and, and nonsensical. The first one, is global warming is based off of science. Now there's two kinds of science. There's science theory and there's exact science. Global warming falls under science theory. Now science theory changes constantly because in the 70s, science theory said that it was global cooling. In the 80s, in the 90s, in the 90s, science dictated that it was global warming. As soon as both of them got debunked, now it's climate change. So basically, the only thing the only change you can believe in is the change of, of global warming. Now, you should call it climate change. People will call it climate change. Like well, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Say, you can call it whatever you want. The point is that it's a it's false weather, it's a scam. It's not weather to have the one of the worst, the worst droughts in Southwest American history. For us to have over 250 of the districts of change. 255 of, of Texas on Somebody fire, it's weather for us to have hurricanes in New York. All right, that, that all sounds great. You know what El Nino and La Nina is. You actually made a valid point. And I'll tell, I'll, tell, I'll tell you why. Responsibility is what does this. Look at the life cycle, whether you can go back to the entire history of the Earth. Warming and cooling cycles. You can go through all of that. The fact is empirical science is what you're really reaching for. So whether you want to go with the Al Gore movie, which has been debunked in many ways, or whether you want to go on the other side and blame individualism, here's the difference. Responsible environmentalism is when you do all the things you can to technologically advance to where the environment is better served to support the society that exists. Therefore, 
when windmills are able to produce a kilowatts and megawatts of power at the rate we need for consumption en masse, and it can be delivered, it's a viable source of energy. Nuclear is clean energy, but we don't use it. About solar... George Bush, sir, on your first point, George Bush said in 2004 that the United States has a capacity to produce over 100 times our power just using wind. And MIT, no, this is George Bush, and MIT did a study that for the cost of one coal power plant, we could tap into the geothermal power of our nation to power our country okay. seven times okay. over. Okay. Okay. So when somebody tells me okay. that, this, that this existing technology is not viable, and you talk about entrepreneurialism, I see a huge... Okay, then let me give you some numbers, and you can go listen to some of this audio on our website. It'll educate you. Electricity produced by coal, clean coal, which by the way we develop, it's is for clean centric. coal. How much? How much? How much does it take to make coal clean? Have you ever seen coal? Electricity is produced by coal at four cents per kilowatt hour. It's produced by wind and solar, and this comes from EIA, the like Energy Information Agency, that comes out of Obama's administration. The EIA has elect as costs produced by wind and solar at twenty-two cents per kilowatt hour. Now. About six weeks ago, they had the LVM auctions in the United States, east of the Mississippi. The 13 powers that trade power bought based on wind and solar, which is not ready for mass market, is being developed, bought it at 13 times their electric rates for 2015 and 2016. That's your reality. Nuclear power. In New York State, 20% of your power comes from Indian Point for your electricity. So when you get rid of that and you return it at a cost of 22 cents per kilowatt and you raise the rates in 2015 at eight times and that is the purchase auction, it is not a futures market. That means that you're gonna raise the cost on the poor and the people that can least afford that ship by eight times. No, they're, they're, energy is not a speculation. It is a, no, no it's not. It is a purchase price which is different than futures trading. And maybe you should go to Wall Street first. Learn how it works. Futures purchase purchase. Do you understand? One minute, Do you understand what passive solar is? Do you understand what all fossil fuels are? All fossil fuels. It's nothing more than electricity that can be used for power. All fossil fuels. It's nothing more than buried solar for a millennia. That is all. Blah blah blah. blah. Buried no solar, sense. my you know That's what. Fossil fuels in this country all is a geographic all issue. All oil extraction from the ground is nothing more yeah, than sun. Okay, let me, let me ask you a question, question then. You're in the environmental movement, right? I'm not an environment. Okay, we close a 2,000 acre solar plant out in the West Coast, out on the West in New Mexico, because of a flower to move 30 seconds deep on 187,000 homes. The problem with your movement is not that it doesn't look at the energy science, it, it looks at the idea and the, and the agenda over the science. One of the things that you guys must, must realize is that you guys are being used. Solyndra and all these other companies okay. that got money from the government have That's gone right. bankrupt, and we need to pump the I'm Ten seconds. Ten seconds. You guys are talking about something that you become passionate about, while there are people above uh, and that are. Okay, up. We're done. We're done. Okay. We're done. Okay. We're done. Okay. Nope. You guys, you got, you got 50 seconds. All right. It's all yours. I totally agree with everything you're saying. The environmental movement, which is nothing more than a movement for the perpetuation of life on Earth, has been very well co-opted. Excuse me, can you take time off of this? The last time I got knocked down because of you. Can you talk about They have a slow thing. So, so I totally agree. And if we look at the UN agenda, we have to look at it very clearly because they are using this serious issue of life as an excuse to take over our rights. So we need to stop the ball crap and start working together. So, so we need to work together for local economies, it's resilient economies, it's local resilient economies. We can use our innovative entrepreneurial spirit in this country for our local communities to make their own and that's at a trillion dollar. We're done, we're done, we're done. We're done. So I guess we didn't take it down a notch for that one. Yeah, come on, give it up for both sides.
The next issue I have, I'm not exactly, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure where both sides are going to come out on. So the issue we have is going to be immigration. 